What's going on guys? As you can tell from a Friday upload that this video is a little unusual. Normally I post on Mondays as a part of Matt Munn's Mondays, but today's video is very special and important to me and it needed to be done on a day that wasn't designated to videos that are normally funny, humorous, and me goofing around. The content of this video today is a little bit heavier and a little bit more serious than normal. Recently, Selena Gomez produced a show based on the book that came out when I was in middle school called 13 Reasons Why. It's exclusive to Netflix right now and I just finished it this week. In the show, a high schooler named Hannah Baker ends up taking her own life and she leaves behind 13 cassette tapes detailing how these different kids affected her life negatively. This show really hit home for me. For a long time, I battled suicide and depression and there were times and points in my life that I wondered if I would even be here the next day, just being at such a low place. I related to Hannah on a lot of levels and felt like I was really kind of watching my life unfold minus a few elements that she experienced. So for me, it was really a heavy and intense show, which it already is by default for anyone regardless if you relate to depression or bullying or not. But for me, it really struck like a missile into my heart and I really understood the pain and the experiences that Hannah went through. If you're watching this video right now and you feel like you can relate to Hannah Baker, if you're in school and you're being bullied or you're having a hard time or you're battling depression or maybe you're even on the brink of thinking about suicide, I plead you to please watch this video because I know that Hannah gave 13 reasons why she left, but today I'm going to give you 13 reasons why you should stay. Number one, you are unique. There is nobody that's like you. You have your own likes, you have your own dislikes, you have your own hobbies, your favorite food, your favorite movie. You're completely different from anybody else in the world. Even if you're a twin, you're still unique from your twin. You are absolutely 100% you and you should embrace your uniqueness. It's what sets you apart from everyone else and it's what makes you, you. Number two, you have a purpose. You were put on this earth for a reason and you were made unique for a reason. Whether you believe it or not, God made you and he has a purpose for you and you are going to do something in this world that nobody else can do. You might be an artist, a baker, an evangelist, a singer, a rapper, a writer, a lawyer, a doctor, a dentist, who knows? There's a myriad of things that you're called to do, and I don't know that exactly, but you know that there's a bigger reason you're here on this earth because you have a purpose. Number three, a lot of times when you're battling suicide or you're thinking about taking your life, you don't think about the people that you leave behind. You're a part of a very important community that's unique to you, your family, your friends, your school. If you leave, just like Hannah, everyone is going to be affected. Whether you believe it or not, your family will be torn apart, your friends will suffer greatly, and even your high school, whether those kids realize it or not, they will feel the gap of you being gone. I know it's difficult to do, but you have to think beyond what you feel right here, and you have to think about everybody else that's going to be affected without you in it. Number four, this one might be hard for you to hear, but the pain that you feel is temporary. When your brain isn't fully developed, it doesn't have the cognitive ability to differentiate that what you're experiencing and the emotions that you feel right now aren't permanent. They're not gonna last forever. I know that it feels like it's never going to get better. I know that it feels like it's hard to get up or like you don't want to continue on. But believe me when I say that this pain is only temporary and it will go away. You will be free from the pain, but you just have to hang on. Number five. This leads me into number five, that there is life beyond what you feel right now. There's a whole future ahead of you. You're going to find somebody to marry. You're going to find a great career. You're going to find something great to do with your life but you will never see the possibility of that if you end it right now there are years and years and years of things to change in your life and you will miss that if you're not here there is life beyond what you feel right now believe it from someone who has been there number six if you haven't been told lately you need to know that you are beautiful or you are handsome, depending on who's watching this. Whether you look in the mirror and you like yourself or not, I am telling you that you were made perfectly. 
you are beautiful and you are handsome and you need to believe it and you need to own it and you need to run with it. You might not be the most popular kid in school. You might not have all the girls chasing you or all the boys chasing you or whatever, but there is someone in this world that is going to find every single thing about you beautiful, handsome, attractive. Don't let kids in high school spoil your self-image. You were created perfectly. Number seven, you matter. Telling people that we appreciate them is something that we often overlook. And whether you've heard that you matter or that you're important to somebody lately, you're hearing it from me. You matter to me. It ties into everything that I've said up until this point, that you have a purpose, that you were created perfectly, that you have a life beyond what you feel right now. You matter. You are needed in this world and you matter to me. Number eight, you are loved. I'll be the first to say that whether I know you or not, I love you. And whether you believe in him or not, God loves you. And I know that some of you might come from homes that are very difficult and you don't hear that a lot or maybe you're not reminded that you are loved often. But believe me when I say that you are loved by those around you and you are loved by the God Almighty. Number nine, your piece of a puzzle. If you've ever done a puzzle, you know that without one piece, the image is not complete and it'll never be complete. You are that piece. All of us are pieces. We are all necessary. We are all needed to make the image complete. You have a piece that no one else has. You are shaped differently, you are colored differently, and you are made with the exact perfectly cut sculpted dimensions that is gonna, boom, complete the whole picture. Without you, the puzzle will never be complete. Number 10. You have gifts that the world needs. There are things inside of you that you probably don't even know about yet. Even if you're an artist and you've taken art classes in school, or maybe you're a writer and you love English, or maybe you're really good at math and you love mathematics, there are things even in those that you haven't even touched yet. There are gifts inside of you that you're only going to start to see if you keep going forward, if you keep pursuing what you love, if you keep pursuing what you're passionate about. But if you take yourself from this earth, you will never get to share those gifts with the world who desperately need to see them. Number 11, tomorrow is a brand new day. Believe me, I know that when you go to bed at night, you feel like you just can't make it another day. But tomorrow is a brand new day. You have the power to change your day. You have the power to transform your outlook on life. Go into school with a smile on your face. Ignore what people are saying about you. Push through because tomorrow is a brand new day. And every single day is going to get better if you hang on one more day. Number 12, you're allowed to feel how you feel but you're not allowed to stay there. What I mean by that is that you're entitled to feel how you feel right now. If you feel sad, if you feel rejected, if you feel unloved, you're allowed to feel that way. You're entitled to your emotions, but I'm telling you right now that I'm not letting you stay there. You're not allowed to stay there because it's not true. You are loved, you are cared about, you do matter, you are beautiful, you do have a purpose, you do have gifts, and the world does need you. So whether you feel like it or not, whether you believe it or not, you need to tell yourself that it's true and you need to remind yourself every single day till you believe it. Number 13, I care about you. I don't need to know who you are. I don't need to know your name. I just need you to know that I care about you. Whether we ever meet in real life or not, it doesn't matter because we're all connected. We're all a part of a bigger purpose. We're all a part of one big family. And you're a member of my family and I care about you. And without you and my family, I'll be devastated. I need you to stay strong. I need you to hang on one more day. I need you to keep pressing through because there is life beyond what you feel. Just like myself, when I thought life wouldn't get better, when I thought I couldn't keep on, I did. And I am so glad that I did because my life right now is better than anything I would have ever have thought. When you're in that zone and you feel the darkness, you have to look for the single point of light and follow that light. The closer that you draw to the light, the quieter that the darkness becomes and you will make it because the darkness is only a pathway that leads to the light. So you might be wondering after I've given all these tips on why you should stay, why I'm wearing a shirt that says be selfish. I don't even know if you can see it because of the light, but I'll come up just a little bit closer. So as of today, I'm extremely excited to announce the Be Selfish campaign by Matt Munns. This campaign is all about anti-bullying, suicide prevention, and being an ally to everyone around you. Be selfish, supportive, encouraging, loving, and friendly. 
If we are going to stop the staggering statistics that more than 5,000 teenagers attempt suicide every day, we are going to have to come together and make a difference in this world. We have to realize that the neighbors all around us, that the people we encounter every day, are going through their own struggles and are facing their own battles. Who are you to make fun of someone else? Who are you to put someone else down? Who are you to start rumors about somebody? Go out of your way. Say hello to someone. Introduce yourself to someone new. Give a smile. Give a wave. Buy someone their drink that's in the line behind you. Make a new friend that you never thought you'd get along with. We can be supportive to the people in our lives that we are close with. We can support them in their endeavors, whatever they're chasing, in their passions. Be encouraging. We can encourage those who are weaker than us. We can encourage those who are struggling. We can lift them up from the rut and we can put them on higher ground. If we're doing good and we're in a good headspace, then it's our duty to help those who are not. Be loving, be gentle and patient with people because people learn at different rates and you never know what someone is going through. So be kind to the ones that are in your classrooms and in your hallways and in your work and be friendly. Go out of your way to smile. Go out of your way to say hello. Go out of your way to give someone a hug. These are very easy ways to be friendly and to completely change someone's perspective on life. The Be Selfish t-shirts are available right now for $20 on my website mattmunds.com. They come in six different colors. Light gray, heather navy, red, blue, purple, and turquoise. By purchasing a t-shirt, you are pledging that you are going to be a selfish ally to the community. That you are going to be supportive, you're going to be encouraging, you're going to be loving, and you're going to be friendly. By wearing these shirts, you are letting people know that you are a safe place to come to when they need help, or that you are an example of what it means to be a Christ-like figure. There are people all around us every day that are in need of help and just need to be reminded that they matter. So this is my call to arms, and I'm looking at you. I need people from all over the United States and all over the globe to rise up and join my movement to make a difference and stop suicide from taking the lives of people that matter to me and should matter to you. The link to my website is in the description box below along with the 13 reasons why you should stay. This video is extremely important to me. I am asking you to share this video with your friends, with your family, and with your co-workers because I believe that there is at least one person who needed to hear this right now. So again, a little bit different from my normal videos, but I am so excited to start this Be Selfish campaign to hopefully make a difference in someone's life. I believe in you, you matter to me, I care about you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. As always, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday for Matt Munns Mondays, and I will see you in just a couple days. Oh yeah, outro.